Hey guys, um, I haven't been available for uploading videos recently It's due to have issues with my disc um, All my video source on the disc And it's uh, this is not readable now So it's not even recognizable in Windows So I will try to see if there's anything I can do To make this disc detected and recognized again So that I can take out my data videos and this is another disc that I have um, three terabyte of it and I do not know it's basically from the uh, one of the uh, external backup drive that I have and it just have clicking sound on the hard disk and I'll see what I can do with this as well so in this video itself we will see how we want to if there's any way that we can actually uh, cover data or make this this readable again so that we can actually pull out the data and do some fixes on this so let's uh, try it with you this this one is the one that's without any activities meaning when you plug in the hard drive you don't get any response from the disk uh, you do feel that the disk gets started but nothing you don't feel that this is spinning nothing is happening so this what we would do now is to take out this piece of uh, uh, controller board and try to clean it up with an eraser or the connector head to see whether we can make this this uh, detected again and readable so let's just open up the controller board as you can see it's using a uh, star screw head so we will need to look for that so let's get into it this one should do fine I guess um, let's try it out no, it's too big. Let's get the smaller ones. Uh, is this okay? This one seems to be okay. Let's just use this. This one. Okay. <clears throat> so once you unscrew it, basically you just need to pull out this this piece. It basically gets stuck to this area. So you can just uh, leave it aside. As you can see, there's a contact point here, which is the one that is contacting with this. And this is where we want to use some eraser to, to actually do some cleanup on this area here. You can see this area here to see whether it will help do the work. Let's do it now. So we just take an eraser and just erase through this area. Okay, once we are done with it, we will put it back and we will detect it again to see whether it will work. Right, so what you need to do now is to clean up the desk. Once it's back in, we are done with this now, so we move on to another one, which is this one. And we still need to do back the same thing, we'll take out this piece and uh, we'll do the same thing again. So now 
now we'll take a look at it. It's uh, as good as new, so we'll try to put it back in and see whether the things get put it up. So let's do it now. Let's clean up the table for now. Basically, we are done cleaning up the contact point for these two discs. So, um, I will test it out now to see whether it works. But like what I said, um, if it doesn't work, then there's nothing much we can do. But for the clicking sound, I think what we need to do is to open up this uh, the front panel and see whether the rewrite hit got stuck on the spindle or something. For this one. So, at the end of the day, that, that's the only thing we can do. Right? So, let's test it out and see how it goes. Hey guys, um, I think we have tried the stuff. But, um, I would, I would basically say is that if, if once you have changed the control board behind, behind here, the control board, you change it, the disc doesn't get detected. Like my case, the case, um, the disc doesn't get detected. Most probably because the read right hit, it's not functioning. It, it gets detected actually, but it's just that um. It gets detected, but the problem with this is like <clears throat> the read right head has been moving very slowly. So, the, uh, when you're doing a cleaning up or whether you're doing a uh, transfer and stuff like that, it's not it's not usable at all. So, I mean, like the transfer rate can be like 300k and they stop and stuff. So, so most probably after the check stuff, they can actually it gets detected, but just that the read right head is not functioning as it should. But of course, after the cleaning up of the control board, if things are not working, so I would say that either you send to a professional data recovery center to recover data if it's important. If not, you should move on and, um, and make, sh make sure that you back up your stuff when it's needed. So I've lost all the videos. So now what I need to do is just to, I mean, the videos are uploaded. I mean, the source is no, it's no more there. So I'll need to actually be prepared for the upcoming stuff as well. So what I need to do now is to get a new hard disk and make sure that I backed up all my stuff properly. So okay, that's all for now. So if you guys uh, have any questions and stuff, you can actually post in the comments below and let me know. But so far, my advice is just make sure that you just do the um, control board cleanup. Other than that, I think opening up the disk isn't a, isn't a very good choice to do. I mean, once you open it up, it can open the contamination and the disk can just fail straight away. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.